Hey, it's Min Lu from The Art of Verbal War again, and today's video is called How to Be Witty Like Hank Moody. One of the TV characters I love the most is Hank Moody from Californication. Not because he gets all the women, but because I love his wit. I love it so much that I have to confess, I've seen the entire series, all seven seasons, twice. I'm all about helping you guys excel in verbal skills here, and from time to time, I like to talk about badass characters on TV or the movies that can help inform our collective journey towards becoming verbal gods. Well, I'm telling you today, Hank Moody is one of my own gurus. So without further ado, let's check out a few ways how Hank Moody uses his wit to charm the ladies and the people in his life. Technique number one is greetings. Unlike what most of us do every day, Hank never greets anybody with a simple hello or hi. Instead, Hank Moody always makes his greetings non-generic. Here's some examples. In this scene when he's greeting his daughter, Mia, and a Rolling Stones magazine writer, this is how he says hi. Well, if it isn't the entire Yaya sisterhood. Now, most people say hello when they answer the phone, but not Hank. In this scene, in season 3, episode 8, when he picks up the phone, he says, City Morgue, you kill him, we chill him. So the moral of the story is from now on, try to say hi to people in a new and creative way. Leave a comment below for everyone to see if you have any creative ways to say hello. Now let's move on to some other ways Hank Moody demonstrates his wit. Technique number two is pop culture references and metaphors. Hank loves himself a good pop culture reference. Nary an episode goes by where he isn't dropping numerous pop culture references. Knowing and using pop culture references skillfully is a sign of social intelligence. One tip for you, when using a pop culture reference, the more absurd it is, the better. Here's some examples. In the episode called Vagina Town, when talking about Chloe's house, your abode has a very June Cleaver vibe to it. In season 1, episode 10, when he's trying to convince Charlie that one night stands aren't as great as he thinks, take it from somebody who's been there. That shit is emptier than a Michael Bay joint. In the scene, he's referring to the shitty action movie director known for the classic films Pearl Harbor and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Technique number 3 is creating your own language. Now in the final technique today, I'm going to talk about what I call creating your own language. This is probably the most advanced level of verbal skills, which Hank Moody frankly is a master at. In Hank's case, we'll call these Moodyisms. The key to creating Moodyisms is not to care what other people think and being in a carefree state, which once again, Hank is a master at. You can't care whether people like what you say or not. If you do, if you care too much, you won't be in a state of mind that you need to pull this off. And when you do this, Make sure you're just trying to amuse yourself. Now let's look at some examples. In this scene in Season 1, Episode 3, Hank is talking to Charlie. It's a broner, the word I'm looking for. Unintentionally man-inspired boner. Broner. Duly noted, broner. In this scene from Season 4, Episode 12, he's introducing Karen's new boyfriend to someone. This is Karen's chilled black bohemian lover. Blackhemian. Is that a word? Coining it, the other key to creating your own moodyisms is, as you can see, is to use the technique of play on words. Now, this is not the only way to create moodyisms. In this video, I just touched on the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Hank Moody and what you can learn about being witty. So if you want to learn more about being witty like Hank Moody, get on the list for the Hank Moody Guide to Wit at www artofverbalwar.com forward slash Hank Moody and I'll send you a free preview of the Hank Moody Guide to Wit. The Hank Moody Guide to Wit will teach you how to implement the skills I talk about in this video and also cover other topics like storytelling, metaphoric speaking, play on words, absurdity, and a lot more. In other words, how to become a verbal god like Hank Moody. Again, go to www.artofverbalwar.com forward slash Hank Moody and sign up to get on the list for the Hank Moody Guide to Wit. This course will never be sold to the public. That's it for today. I'm Min Lu at The Art of Verbal War, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And hey, remember to get on the list for the Hank Moody Guide to Wit at www.artofverbalwar.com forward slash Hank Moody.